action. Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 987. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewilddog.com. I got some flies. Right? That's uh, that's where we keep all the full length free episodes for you guys. Special guest today, Tommy Tat. Uh, he's gonna help us out. We were doing some front rack, uh, well, front squats. Obviously, that puts us in the front rack. And he had this nice little mobility session. I really enjoyed it, so I figured we would share it with you guys. Uh, could you do that? Yeah. He talks a little funny. He's got like that, that uh, good day, mate. Like, well, that, that Australian uh, English accent. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, uh, if we have to repeat something. So, guys, what you want to do is get down on your hands and knees. See, sounds funny already, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fingertips forward. Make sure the elbows are facing back, and you're going to go 10 anti clockwise rotations. See, so we'd say counterclockwise. That's and then you will go 10 clockwise rotations on those wrists. So the reason why I like this is because we generally just go straight over and back, over and back. So you're adding rotation, uh, both clockwise and counterclockwise, or anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise, right? Yeah. Which, uh, which I liked, all right? So 10 and 10. 10 and 10, then you face the fingertips backwards and do exactly the same. If they can't get all the way backwards, is it just as far back as you can get? You want to make it just so it's comfortable. You don't want to force it, otherwise you're just going to be end up in pain. Gotcha, gotcha. And then you do the same. Counterclockwise. Okay. We've got anti and counter. Yes. Anti, anti, yeah. and regular. And regular. And cool. Regular. From there, you want to take so ten and ten. The fingertips out, and just rock backwards and forwards. Again, ten this times. We, that we would think of as pretty traditional. And you gradually get further over on the wrist. Right. And okay. Then from there. And this is the part that I like. This is why I wanted to put this on there. It's going to go on the back of the hands and do exactly the same. Backwards and forwards. So really the stretch is on this hand and then on this hand, right? And you bring your knees a little bit further back and you're going to go into a closed fist and then back down onto the backs of your hands and into a closed fist again. Right, so you get, you get that eccentric stretching as you uh, lengthen back down into that open hand and then a little bit of that. Cool, and then finally yeah. onto the closed, well, palms down again. Ooh. And then when you get that little gymnastics push up to the hand push up, I like that as well. So it's a great little routine and I thought that it would be great to show you guys. If you're somebody that has difficulty getting in that front rack, um, I mean, I felt a lot better after doing this little warm up and then jumping into it. So I think it's something that you guys could, uh, could address. Of course, don't forget the elbows and the shoulders as well, but this is a great little wrist warm up and I really appreciate it. No worries. Guys, questions, comments, please post them below. And as always, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.